Hello, welcome to AC Picks and my Japanese socks film commentary, which relate to my upcoming film guide for women. My sock videos focus on mainstream movies and what they have to offer female viewers. These videos are directed primarily at adult female humans. Today I'm going to talk about Blade Runner 2049, released in 2017. This is the article I wrote about it for my book blog at sexualizationofwomen.com on October 9th, 2017. Blade Runner 2049 scores very poorly for women's presence and voice. It is full of violence against women, as well as objectification, sexualization, and silencing of women. It is not a hopeful movie for women, like Hidden Figures, released in 2016, a movie in which women have a real voice, like Suffragette, released in 2015, and Wonder Woman, released in 2017, or full of solidarity between women, like The Help, released in 2011. Blade Runner 2049 excels at silencing women. For starters, the protagonist's girlfriend is not a real woman, but rather a virtual woman who only says, quote, everything you want to hear, end quote, according to, to the ads for the, these artificial intelligence products. And by the way, you here means men. These virtual women are named Joy and only speak flattering, loving, reassuring words to their male owners. Unlike real women, they are incapable of voicing dissatisfaction, frustration, anger, or expectations. Women are also silenced permanently. The three lead female characters are murdered, and a fourth woman, whose appearance lasts mere minutes, is also murdered by the godlike man who created her. The violence perpetrated against women in Blade Runner 2049 is graphic. A man chokes a woman to death while holding her underwater to drown her. This scene is long and includes several close-ups of her face. A woman stabs another to death and stamps out a third woman's life, both before our eyes. A man cuts a woman open to kill her and shoots another in the head at close range for being unacceptable to him. Men's deaths, on the other hand, are much less brutal. One is shot off screen and another dies a peaceful death lying on snow-covered steps under the prettily falling snow. Women are also highly sexualized. Viewers are shown several giant naked holograms and statues of women. And of the women with lines, three are prostitutes, one is a virtual girlfriend called Joy, and another is a synthetic woman called Love. That's L-U-V. The filmmakers behind Blade Runner 2049 seem to like their women naked and subservient. They also appear to enjoy watching women being murdered. Few recent movies are this insulting to women. Female viewers may feel the need, after watching it, to wash out their eyes and brain with an empowering movie, like Wonder Woman, released in 2017, or 9 to 5, released in 1980. I look forward to sharing my findings about mainstream movies of the 20th and 21st centuries and what they have to offer female viewers in my upcoming film guide for women, which contains 500 feature film reviews. Thank you for watching. If you would like to support my work, please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again, speak up, and stay safe.